Welcome back to I Shine Connect. Divine detours are woven all throughout Scripture. Remember Jesus on the Mount of Olives? The soldier showed up. Judas kissed him on the cheek and said, that's the one. They went to apprehend Jesus, and Peter said, I don't think so. This is wrong. He got his sword out and cut off the soldier's ear. Said, take that. You're not taking my Messiah. It was wrong that Jesus was falsely accused. It was wrong that people mocked him. It was wrong that Judas betrayed him. It was wrong that the religious leaders condemned him. Peter had a good point. I'm going to do something about these wrongs. The other disciples, they were about to follow suit. They said, Lord, should we fight them too? We brought our swords. Jesus said to them, don't resist anymore. He was saying, put down your swords. Quit fighting these wrongs. They're a part of my destiny. What you can't see is all those wrongs are leading to a right. The wrongs are necessary to get us into our purpose. Without the betrayals, the rejection, people not accepting Him, Jesus would have never gone to the cross. We wouldn't have salvation. It wasn't the enemy leading Him into the wrongs. It was the hand of God. And I'd love to tell you that if you'll honor God, keep Him first place, you'll only see favor, promotion, good breaks. That's not reality. God uses the wrongs. There will be delays, setbacks, things you don't understand. Like Peter, you'll be tempted to fight, get upset, live frustrated. God, where are you? No, God is saying, put down your sword. Quit fighting everything you don't like. Quit being frustrated by the wrongs. God is in complete control. All those wrongs, I can assure you, they're leading you to a right. You have to get through the wrongs to see the awesome things God has in store. But too many people get stuck in the wrongs. Why did they leave me? Why did that loan not go through? Why didn't I get this position? Here's a good thought. Don't fight it, flow with it. Yes, it's wrong. Yes, it's painful, but God wouldn't have allowed it if it wasn't leading you to the right thing. It's a divine detour. Every wrong is not the enemy. Sometimes it's God working out His plan for your life. How you handle the wrongs will depend on whether you see the right. If you see every wrong as the enemy, you get upset, try to pay people back, I can't believe this happened, then you'll get stuck. But when you understand that God has divine detours, that He uses the wrongs, things we don't understand to move us into our destiny, then you won't fight it, you'll flow with it. And this is what the Apostle Paul did. He was doing the right thing, going to different cities, building churches, writing the New Testament, when he was arrested for sharing his faith. He was on a boat headed to Rome. In the middle of the journey, there was a huge storm. For 14 days, they didn't see the sun nor the stars. The waves were so high, the wind so strong, got to the point where they couldn't steer the ship. And God had promised Paul that he was going to stand before Caesar. The captain of the ship, the crew, they had all given up. They were throwing the cargo overboard, trying to keep the ship from sinking. Paul told them not to worry that their life was not going to be lost. The scripture says the captain took down the sails and let the wind blow the ship wherever the storm wanted it to go. And I know we stand against sickness, we stand against addictions, but there are some storms that you don't fight. You have to take down your sails. Quit trying to make it work out your way. Quit trying to fix it. It's a divine detour. You fighting that storm is fighting the purpose of God, and you won't win. What you can't see is the wrong. The storm is leading you to a right. It's God taking you to where He wants you to go. See, sometimes trouble is transportation. It's moving you one step further to where you're supposed to be. Paul told the captain, in effect, quit fighting it and flow with it. Paul understood this principle that the wrongs weren't keeping him from his destiny, they were taking him to his destiny. The ship crashed on some rocks. He and all those on board swam to an island. There were a bunch of natives living there. Paul shared the good news and some of them became believers. There were sick people. Paul prayed for them. They were healed wasn't a bad break, it was a divine detour. 
The storm was a part of God's plan to move Paul to an island in need. Instead of fighting the wrongs, look around at who's in your life. Who can you be a blessing to? Who can you encourage? Who can you pray for? Who can you mentor? Maybe that storm was God moving you into position to impact someone else. How about putting down your sword? How about not resisting everything? Instead of fighting it, flow with it. God will never allow something that He's not going to use for your good. We know how God will take what the enemy meant for evil and turn it for good, but what I want us to see is many things are not the enemy. God uses wrong things to move us into our purpose. And if you see every bad break, every setback, every betrayal as the enemy, then you'll live frustrated, wondering why it happened, or maybe I did something wrong, maybe I missed it. Or could it be like Paul, you're in the perfect will of God, but you're on a divine detour? If you don't know how to go through the wrongs with a good attitude, trusting, knowing that God is in control, then you'll live frustrated. Have a new perspective. The detours aren't random, they're divine detours. No more fighting, start flowing. No more resisting, put down your sword. You can live out of a place of rest, knowing that the wrongs, the things you don't understand that are not fair, they're not stopping you, they're leading you into the perfect plan that God has laid out for you. We'll be right back after this short break. Get the inspiration and encouragement of Joel Osteen on your Android or iPhone today. This app makes it easy to watch Joel's messages on your schedule, wherever you are. Plus, you can jumpstart your day like a champion with daily devotionals, swipe through inspiring testimonies, find a great local church in your area, and so much more, all at your fingertips. Download the free app today in the App Store or Google Play for your Android phone, iPhone, or iPad.